autopsy confirms what many suspected. CU's only Heisman Trophy winner, Rashawn Salam, killed himself. Now, Salam was found dead earlier this month with a gunshot to the head. Denver 7th Jennifer Kovaleski joins us now. And Jen, they couldn't confirm any head related trauma linked to football. Molly, that requires a special test, which the family declined. But Salam's brother says that he had all the symptoms of CTE, a chronic traumatic brain injury often linked to retired football players. Former CU football star and Heisman Trophy winner Rashawn Salam has been found dead in a park in Boulder. We've got a male unconscious on the ground next to a blue Dodge Stratus. It's a story that stunned the football world and left us with a lot of questions. There's a revolver laying next to him. Here is the give to Salam. Salam to the outside. Why would a guy who had it all take his own life? Rashawn Salam's brother thinks all those years playing football as a CU buff and then in the NFL took a toll, telling USA Today he was a running back who gets hit more on the field than a running back and had all the symptoms of CTE or chronic head trauma before he committed suicide. Depression, cognitive problems, physical complaints. Dr. Michael Greer is a concussion expert at University of Colorado Hospital. He says we still don't know a lot about CTE. Uh, something that's really, frankly, not that well understood. And despite other retired football players experiencing similar symptoms. There has not been found to be uh, a systematic relationship between concussions and suicide. We will never know if Salam actually suffered from CTE. His family chose not to have his brain studied because of their Muslim beliefs. But his brother told USA Today, if they did, I would guarantee they find it. I think CTE is an, is an excellent question at this point that we don't have the answer to. CU honored Salam during tonight's bowl game. They wore these stickers with his initials and number on their helmets. I'm Jennifer Kovaleski for Denver 7.